Hey guys, what's going on? This is Deadly. Welcome back to Season 2, Episode 2 of the Hardcore Challenge. This is the character playthrough where I can only use items that I find in my raids, as well as a lot of other restrictions. If you haven't already seen Episode 1, I recommend going there first. It explains the challenge and the rule set, and also shows you guys how we gathered our first initial supplies. This episode is all about acquiring modified rifles through looting containers and also killing some PMCs. I also seen a few comments in the last video that you guys wanted to see some more night operations. That's going to happen today. Just know that it will be difficult to see at times and you guys are seeing just as poorly as I am seeing. So the first raid today, we're going to be going in on Shoreline. I'm using a TT with a few magazines and that's it. This is what I call the improvised scavenger raid. I just take in like very shitty gear with no medication and just try to make it work. Because we can't do the scav raid, I don't have access to doing these YOLO runs as often, but this is a nice way of doing it nonetheless. Now my main mission of course is always going after that AKS-74U. I got really lucky on the scav island and picked it up. Actually I gotta say, I've been very lucky so far with this challenge finding AKSs. Every single time I go looking for one, I almost always find it. Also can't forget about hitting up those two medical bags on the scav island. Pretty key. I actually find not that many people actually go to the scav island anymore, so it's a pretty good way to farm some meds. I just hit that satellite dish. Right, we got him with that one. Uh, but I was in Markstrom's chat and he literally said Fallout 76 is the first, is Bethesda's first online game. <gasps> no! What? Not even a chance! Not even a chance, man! Oh my god, dude. See how close we can get. Oh, no. Let's not see how close we can get. Oh, actually, that could be a... What's going on over here? I don't know if my shots are doing damage through that fence. Oh, we got sniper scab on us now. Um, I'm not too sure what we can do. Mr. Sniper Scab is dialed in on us. We actually have to kill the sniper scab. Okay, okay. Maybe he's not on us anymore. Let's see if we can grab this guy's. Oh, oh, we killed solid anus twice. Seriously. Solid anus is probably pissed. We gotta find out where this other uh, scavenger went. There he is. Not this bug. Uh, maybe our shot, I think our shotgun could be bugged out. Oh damn, he's wearing a gazelle, huh? I get questions on this in almost every single video. You can alt click to automatically equip items from another body that you currently don't have. Um, if you already wear a vest, it doesn't exchange it with the vest that you alt clicked. Control clicking automatically puts the item into your inventory. It's a fun name to say. Yo, thank you for that, man. I appreciate your support. Don't kill me, motherfucker. I might go check the duffel. Dear sniper scab, please fall. I've never seen that once that fall in a long time. I think there's a there's one specific spot where you can get this guy to fall down, but I never do it. Where's all the Tarkov players at these days getting killed by scabs in obscured areas?
Hard to see. Could maybe consider keeping that flashlight on. Okay, we gotta get this Taz because we need it for a task. Can't just buy the Tazes for the early skier tasks. We actually need to just collect them. After we killed those scavs, I figured I'd just go to the extraction point, get it with the gazelle. I wasn't really hearing any other gunshots, so I figured I was probably the only person in this night raid. Here's a quick peek of what our stash is looking like right now. We got a couple pistols, got a couple AKSs, a few MP153 shotguns, an SKS, a Keter, and a Saiga 9, as well as our new fresh gazelle armor. Like, let's just go. Do a multiplayer fallout, see what happens. <laughs> First pack armor. PSU. Okay, AK-74 sound suppressor. That was kind of cool. We're going to drop this shoddy and take the MP. Or sorry, drop that rifle and take the MP so we can have like a shoddy secondary. He's got a 3M. We need that 3M. Okay. Oh, yeah. Apollo, seven Apollo cigarettes. I still think that's a little bit much. It needs to be five. You know, seven, like, I, I get it, like, the difference between seven and five is not that big of a deal, but seriously. S having to find seven packs of cigarettes for an IFAC, like, it's so annoying. SU-98 magazine, that's kind of odd. We should probably take it. Oh. Okay, well, rip that. We're going to take this black rock as well. Oh shit, hold on. Um probably consider getting out of here now this game should be the way you're playing it right now for everybody i mean personally i believe that this game would play better in this like if like you could only barter from the traders and stuff but i do like the way tarkov has played with money you know so i i like both styles of gameplay that's why i have two accounts that i can just do both but yeah 
So that was an epic raid. We picked up an AK-105, then we found a sound suppressor, uh, and then we also have a PSO optic that was just sitting at the bottom of my stash, so we can throw that on there for a 4X suppressed rifle. <laughs> Shit. Alright, well I don't want to get killed by this- oh, there he is. Uh-oh. This might be an emergency. Yeah, I needed to spray like that though, because the SKS guy would have one tapped me if I didn't. Ooh, shit. Okay. I take the OP SKS over this, uh, yeah, I'm going to, or yeah, we're going to do that. Hold on. Okay, give me a sec. I'm going to take that, hold that. Helmet. Okay, roll. We have a very limited amount of time, chat. We heard some fi uh, gunshots coming from the trailer. Okay, I'm going to play high on the right. I know there's a duffel behind the rock, but now is not the proper time. Wait, I just shot him in the head. Okay. Figured somebody might consider like looting these guys. Maybe just like taking their time. Dude, kidney shot. Headshot. Bum 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 <laughs> Hey PMC 
I feel like I was being quite loud too, like with those suppressed shots. Like he would have been close enough to maybe hear those. He might not be the only one though. Sometimes I've been finding it difficult to actually run into PMCs. Like, trust me, if I get any PMC kills that are decent, I'm totally going to show you guys. And if I get really murdered by a lot of PMCs, I'm going to include that too. But I can honestly say, up to this point, there hasn't really been that many. And I've even considered starting to play on European servers in the morning to get more player base in. Because in the morning times on North America at least, it can be a little bit slow at times. Also, I need to factor in the like the, I'm playing these raids a lot slower than I normally play them and I'm not nearly as aggressive. So that also has to have an impact on how many people that I see. You might have noticed that I picked up a key. Um, that was a storage key, which can be used to open up a medical storage room on Customs new gas station. Pretty useful. Oh damn. Did I? Okay, okay. Ooh, those tracers. Yeah, I know. It's impossible to see. I can't really see either. I'm just seeing if I can spot, like, some contacts or something that's bright that shines off the PMC. Yeah, that dude's probably got a pair of NVGs on, if I was to guess. Might be able to see him, though. Don't know if both of them are dead though. I know one of them is dead, but there was two. It was two separate players. Uh, Scav? No, 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 no. It was players. Yeah, those, those were those were players. I think there was two players. One of them had a face mask on. Ninety percent sure. The first one didn't look like he died. It looked like he went prone. You know, the guy with the UN helmet. Yeah, yeah, the first one looked like he dropped dead. It kind of looked like he just went prone, man. Already reloaded. He's dead. We got him. Um, I'm gonna just throw that up there for now. Not gonna take the US ammo. Dead player. They killed a guy down there. Let's see if they have any meds. Yeah, we can put on the contacts, actually. Good call. A really good call. We need uh, these AKM mags. Okay, I might just go take a look and see what this guy's got. Damn. 
I wish I could loot more. You know? Good thing we brought the pilgrim. You gonna fall off? Yeah, you will. Okay. Fuck. Never easy, huh? He fell down. There he is. Okay. Episode SKS. So many scavs. The only problem is we got to go through this choke point and. I think the only way we're gonna do it is if I chuck a grenade to cause the scabs to run. So I'm gonna do that. Oh, you granata! At this point, I did skip ahead and I checked the other two extractions and they were closed. There's so many of them. I don't know why there's so many scabs here right now. It's crazy. It's actually kind of nuts. This was a critical raid for us because we were able to pick up multiple rifles with good attachments, primarily handguards. Railed handguards for AKs have been extremely difficult for me to find. They are technically possible to find in military crates like the CAA and the B10, but it's they're very uncommon. In fact, to the point where I actually encouraged to the devs, maybe you should consider increasing the spawn rate of them because of how rare they are. But anyways, guys, that's going to conclude this episode of the Hardcore Challenge. If you guys enjoyed this, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Share this around to your friends who might think that this content is interesting. Subscribe on the YouTube channel. Check out the daily live streams every single morning at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and Sundays at noon. And we have a brand new podcast called The Slobcast, which is now available on iTunes, Spotify, and Google Play. Actually, Spotify should be by the time I upload this video. It might not be, but iTunes and Google Play, definitely it's going to be there. It's for new broadcasters or potential YouTubers. If you guys are interested in the behind the scenes or if you want to learn how to become a better streamer, lots of information there. Check it out. Have a listen, and I'll see you guys in the next one.